All right, welcome back. So now we're in the new ascension, and I'm gonna start the Christmas season. Uh, we're gonna start with that one because it gives you the most benefits. So you might see there's a thing called unlocks a festive hat. So we're gonna buy those upgrades, and then on the left you can't really see because my face cam's in the way. But I'll put an image. You can upgrade levels of Santa for certain amounts of cookies, and you get really good upgrades for it. As you can see I've purchased 11 out of 14 Santa gifts and the last Santa gift is really good. So it's been quite a while since the, the last cut. Um, what happened was I got all the Santa levels to max level so I got all those upgrades and we're at 2,000 how many chips already and it hasn't even been that long. Um, so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to wait till I have 10 times the amount of prestige levels to ascend so when I get up to 30, 30k uh, which won't take too long because it speeds up here and I did in fact um, buy up until Elder Pact in terms of the Grandma Apocalypse um, just so the chances of Elder Frenzies are a bit higher because then we have a 66% chance of Wrath Cookies and a 33% chance of the normal Golden Cookies so we still got the Frenzies but it's more likely to get Frenzy plus Elder Frenzy in this, which is the best combo you want to get. Um, and you want to stay with the Christmas season until you've unlocked all the Christmas cookies, which drop from the reindeer that spawn occasionally. As you see, I've got six out of seven. Um, there's a reindeer, and I actually have a caramelized sugar lump, which is really rare. I mean, um, it's like the second rarest sugar lump. Um, and that gives you an achievement for harvesting one of those, so I got really lucky there. Actually, on my previous save file, I didn't actually get a caramel sugar lump until like um, when I reached my like 400th sugar lump, so I'm very happy that I got it this quickly. Don't worry if you don't get it um, that quickly, but it's just for an achievement and it gives you between 1 and 3, so you can do the, the save strat where you save and then refresh until you get 3. I think that's what I did here. Uh, but look, even just like a budding special, my, my legacy's going up pretty fast, so definitely another combo and I'll be very close to ascending. I'm going to try and get all the Christmas cookies before I ascend, because if you get to the seventh one, you get a achievement which makes makes them more likely to drop in the next ascension, I believe. If you don't want to ascend this early, um, the next season I would go for is the Valentine's one, because it just gives you a some upgrades. Um, it takes like two seconds, upgrades will spawn, you buy the six or seven upgrades it has, then on to the next season. But the reason I go for the Christmas one first is just because it's got some really good upgrades and the the upgrades from the Valentine's season, uh, they're a bit expensive so you can't afford them straight away. Now the golden switch, I did briefly mention this at the end of the last video, but so it you click it um, and you get a plus 50% CPS but you lose golden cookies but it doesn't cancel golden cookie effects so you can still use it while using the epic combos of like frenzy so technically the best combo is frenzy, elder frenzy, sell your buildings, s summon the click frenzy in your force hand of fate spell, hit the golden switch, yeah profit. Sometimes you can get the Dragonflight from the Force Hand of Fate spell, but I discovered that um, if you have a Dragonflight active um, and in your spells you have a Click Frenzy, surely it'd be like, oh my god, we'll get them both at the same time. But actually, the game thought about that, and if you have a Dragonflight active, the the spell in your Grimoire that should have been a click frenzy it gets changed to a lucky um so that's why i don't go for the the dragonfly aura as my main aura later on when you get to 100 prisms um you want to get that or the prism aura because that's like really good it's all cookie production multiplied by two yeah i think i'm just gonna sell my buildings with visual click frenzy and see what happens this is normal wow look at that Amazing. It's literally just a frenzy and a click frenzy. And look how much my legacy shot up there. Incredible. Oh yeah, and you wanna the the best upgrades is the other kitten upgrades. Um because it's like more CPS put more milk and milk is basically achievements. Um so the more achievements you have, 
bit more kooky for a second you're gonna get. So we're at 25k prestige level. So we're, we're almost ready to ascend. All right, so we've got a frenzy building special, cell buildings, click frenzy. Oh my god, look how fast it's progressing. Look at this. You know, I kind of lied when I said 10 times. I actually meant 100 times more prestige level than before. Look at that, 400,000 prestige levels. The game really does speed up here. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to quickly rebuy and sell the buildings just for some extra extra quick CPS before it runs out. But look at that, 420,000 prestige levels. We are very fast on track, but if you ever get this high, you definitely want to ascend. Um, because anything upwards of 10 times more prestige levels is very, very beneficial to ascend. Now you do get achievements for um, finding 200, ring, uh, 200 reindeer. Um, so at some point we will get those when the seasons take longer. But I've literally only done the Christmas season and I'm already ready to ascend. So I guess we'll look at the rest of the seasons later on. Alright, so again, I'm going to do the thing where I buy more buildings. Oh, it looks like we did get to 100 prisms, so sorry about that, but when you do get to 100 prisms, sacrifice them, put that in your aura slot, because that is a lot better than the dragonfly, just because of the potential combos you can get in the end. So I guess we didn't even get to see the dragonfly in action, unfortunate. I guess I'll put a picture of it on screen right now. This is what it looks like, it's just a better click frenzy. If your total prestige level ends in a 7, then you can get another heavenly upgrade. And same goes for ends in 777 and ends in, I think it's 6-7s. And I'll quickly check that right now in editing. And those are the most annoying achievements to get. But the way I do it is I just, you want to, if you're going really, if it's going really fast, start to sell a bit of buildings. If it's going too slow, buy the buildings back and just find a compromise don't click any golden cookies don't worry about those yet i will get you'll see me get those heavenly upgrades when uh, i do them in the future episodes but we're going to get the original one for ending in seven all right so we've ascended now so much heavenly chip to spend as you can see it ends in a seven um my prestige level is four two four five one seven Again, reminder to put your most expensive upgrade in the heavenly upgrade slot. Uh, I seem to remember that one. Um, and there you go, lucky digit. That is the thing that ends in a 7. So I actually made a mistake in that clip. This is what you should buy for your next ascension if you have the same amount of heavenly chips as me. Go for the red upgrades first and unlock the synergies volume 1. That will unlock some really good building upgrades along with the kitten angels because the angel upgrades are insane. Sorry, I mean the kitten upgrades are insane. And also, if you have some remainder, you want to go for golden alert sound. And those are the most important ones. Um, in the clip, I ended up buying these two, um, which is 200k, for upgrades of 1% cheaper and divine discount bonus 1% cheaper, which you can just get at a later stage. Okay, so it looks like you do keep you do keep your sugar lumps per ascension through ascension, so don't worry about waiting. Um, I didn't actually manage to get all the reindeer cookies, so I didn't get the achievement yet. But I'm gonna save up for the festive biscuit again.